audio files can help guide the end user through the simulation and provide supplemental information. Each step within a simulation can have a supported audio file associated with the content. Audio can be incorporated in three ways. First, you can create audio voiceovers directly within the application. Second, you can import an audio file created with an external audio editor application. Using an external audio editor allows you more flexibility to enhance or edit your audio recording. Third, you can create audio using text-to-speech within the application. Simulation step text and transcript notes can be converted into speech. To review and update the audio for a particular step, navigate to the simulation editor and double click on a step. This opens the step properties window. On the left hand side, click audio. In the audio properties, there is an audio source drop down. In this drop down, you will find text to speech options notated by TTS, and you will find a manual option for voiceover audio, imported audio, or no audio. The default option is configured through the template by your UPerform administrator. However, you can choose to use a different audio option for a particular step in the simulation. To create a voiceover audio, select Manual and click the Record Audio icon. This will open the Recording Options window. Click the Record Audio icon again to start recording your voiceover. When you have completed your voiceover, Click the Stop Recording icon. You can preview the voiceover by clicking the Play Audio icon. Once finished, click OK to save and exit. You will notice that the audio file has been created in MP3 format. To import an audio file, click the Browse button. Notice that WAVE and MP3 formats are accepted. Navigate to an audio file and click Open. Use the Play audio icon to listen to the audio file. Lastly, to create audio using text-to-speech, go to the Audio Source dropdown and select the text-to-speech option that best fits your needs. The Step Text option allows the text-to-speech voice to read the text in the action bubble. In this example, the step text is, click Create New drop-down menu. The transcript option allows the text-to-speech voice to read the text that is added to the transcript. Keep in mind that notes added to the simulation will not be read by the text-to-speech voice unless it is added to the transcript. In this example, the note from step one needs to be added to the transcript. In addition, the step text followed by transcript option allows the text-to-speech voice to read the text in the action bubble followed by the transcript. And lastly, the transcript followed by the step text option allows the text-to-speech voice to read the transcript followed by the text in the action bubble. Text-to-speech audio files are also in MP3 format. Use the play audio icon to listen to the audio file. Once you have updated the audio, click OK to save and exit the step properties.